The demands of macro photography are quite a bit. The first camera was introduced in the early 2000s. Since then, camera phones have come a very long way. We know now that companies are going all out to provide the latest features in technology. Now, this is really helping smartphone cameras to match up to high-end cameras in terms of quality. Because of this development in computational photography, smartphones are now giving traditional cameras absolutely stiff competition. You know, camera phones are slowly replacing traditional cameras in photos and video shoots. Now, we always have our phones with us and end up clicking a lot of photos at a moment's notice. Thanks to the inbuilt features of the camera, the lighting, the framing, everything is more or less done for you. You don't need to worry too much about anything while you're clicking a photograph. From portrait photography to macro, there's nothing that the smartphone camera cannot handle. But speaking about macro photography, and you knew, no, I was leading up to that, right? So macro photography, do you really know what it is? It's the art of taking a larger than life-size picture of a very small subject, and that's macro photography. The world, as you know, completely changes and a new one comes up from a very different perspective, absolutely different from what you see normally. What your eyes normally see and what you see with macro photography, very, very different. And our next guest does just that. 23-year-old Sasi Kumar is a macro photographer with a very keen eye for detail. Sasi uses the smartphone and a macro lens to shoot insects in their natural habitat. He spends his weekends walking around in the fields, surrounding his house, looking for his perfect models, his subjects, the insects. The first step towards macro photography is to visualize the frame and recognize what would look good through a macro lens. The second step is that one needs to be spot on with the camera and lens ability. If you aren't aware of the camera settings and the lens combinations, you might just end up with clicking very blurry photographs. We met Sasi to find out more about what intrigues him about macro photography and how he started. A photographic magic that captures the beauty of stunning insects, all captured using smartphones over the last few years. These are so minute in size that often escape human notice. The talent behind this 23-year-old software professional she has captured these using his smartphone. His hobby, digitally freezing these little wonders, is a fascinating journey that began during his student days. As the day breaks over the weekend in Velo, 150 kilometers from Chennai, Sasi Kumar is on a photo walk, scouting across abandoned fields to click what he loves most. Beetles, bugs and even fledgling butterflies. His photographic pursuit as a hobby began three years ago in 2019 when he was still in college. He is from a humble background a professional DSLR camera was neither affordable nor a priority for his family then. So he decided to fully tap on the potential of his smartphone for his photographic pursuits. Besides the aim and shoot ease of smartphones always in his pocket, the computational technology these devices come with, Sasi says, deliver high quality pictures not far from what DSLRs deliver. So I get the, uh, so recent times the smartphones are upgraded very quickly like uh, they are introducing very many many more features so that has uh, like compete with uh, DSLR but anyway both DSLR and uh, smartphone have their own quality so smartphone we can uh, achieve like a good quality pictures as well. So the smartphone uh, features has been drastically changed from it. in the beginning I used to ca capture with a smartphone with 12 MP camera now it has been uh, around 180 MP camera that I've shoot so the quality has been increased a lot so there is been many innovation and uh, inventive features from the smartphone brand as well like uh, uh, 60x zoom uh, 
HDR modes, macro modes, uh, and uh, portrait modes, and other features as well. Like uh. with a passion for macro photography, Sasikumar's day begins around sunrise. He walks into fields like this, carrying his smartphone to capture his favorite micro subjects beautifully. Armed with his smartphone, Sasi also walks through lush green farmlands, a natural habitat of these tiny creatures, and beautifully captures them as they wake up to the first light, flaunting their brilliance. He has mastered the art of discovering these hidden wonders. In no time, he observes their movement pattern and positions his camera for the perfect shot. My favorite subject is a bee. Like uh, during its like uh, in flight towards the flowers that I like to shoot. Rather than sitting in a flower, like I would like to shot like uh, it's like flying shot. So regular uh, landscape. Uh, there are many people uh, who captures regular landscape, but uh, only few uh, focus on the macro photography. So I want to be among them, like uh, capturing the undiscovered uh, nature that is being to be like showcased to the world. The techie working in Chennai has also equipped himself with a good set of macro lenses with a tele range of 10x to 24x. These capture even the most minute details intricately. Uh, I capture in smartphone, I edit them uh, quickly uh, with uh, uh, available uh, apps so I can quickly share to the, my Instagram handle and other social media as well. Sasi showcases his pictures on his social media page. During weekends, Sasi processes and refines his pictures, editing them on his smartphone. Which has literally turned into a one-stop shop for a photo finish. For many with a passion for photography, a DSLR is still beyond their means. And Sasikumar's success with his smartphone is an inspiration for many aspirants to use their handheld devices to their full potential to give wings for their creativity. In Velour with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV. Wow, that was fantastic. And you know, we had an opportunity to meet up with Sasi to get to know a little bit more about him. Thank you, Sasi, for joining us. Welcome to the show and congratulations. What amazing stuff you're doing. Those images are absolutely mind-blowing. So, Sasi, tell me, why did you choose a smartphone as your primary device for capturing moments, mostly for macro? People don't think of a smartphone. And how did you get into macro photography? So first thing, like it's like a smartphone will be having all the time. So whenever I'm smart spotting something, like uh, I can very well instantly capture them, uh, so that I I cannot miss the moments. So and the second thing is like uh, uh, since I've started my photography during my college days, so that time I cannot afford for a big uh, professional camera. So uh, I've captured with with what I have. Uh, so I have only the smartphone camera. So I started with that. Like initially, I had only a less budget to get a macro lens, like uh, which uh, which is around like a uh, 500 rupees. So I've started capturing with that lens. So uh, I had a great uh, uh, passion towards capturing the minute details of insects. So that passion me very well capturing the uh, undiscovered like uh, nature uh, that many miss to notice. So that uh, helps me in capturing macro. So see how important is it to get the right camera setting and the lens combination to get the perfect macro picture? So both are uh, very important like uh, camera settings and the lens combination. So if you have the right lens and if you don't uh, have the right settings and you might miss uh, like a movement of the insect. So for example, if you're capturing an insect, uh, if, you are, if you don't keep the proper settings and you're capturing, uh, you might miss the movement of the insect. Uh, for capturing a movement of the insect, maybe you need uh, like high speed uh, uh, shutter, high shutter speed in order to capture them. So if you have the right settings, for example, if you keep uh, right uh, exposure, right uh, shutter speed and if you don't have the proper lens means you, you, you cannot magnify the 
great details of the insect so you might miss the uh, details in it so both uh, plays an important role in a uh, macro photography thank you sasi for joining us this has been absolutely a real lesson Snapdragon is calling all you Cell Guru fans to join their global community called Snapdragon Insiders. Now, this gives you access to the latest scoop on Snapdragon tech, a chance to connect with the experts behind the scene, premium experiences, exclusive contests, and so much more. Look, I've been a Snapdragon Insider for eons, and you can become one too by simply following them on Twitter or Instagram. I'm giving you their handles. Also, Give yourself a chance to win a Samsung smartphone by participating in the NDTV Snapdragon contest at ndtv.com slash unleash your dreams.